Right, so it's the 16th of April, it's 5.30 in the morning, I'm just waiting for my mum to pick me up, and we're going to the hospital, I've got to have a drain check and all this other stuff done, um, I'm going to explain more about my cancer through this video, and what it is, and how it affects the body, and how we've come along with the research side of everything and what we know and what we don't really know. Um, how it affects me and how it affects my body. Um, it, it's hard. It, it's hard having cancer. I'm 32 and like never ever thought I'd ever have anything like this. I was naive to it before. I didn't realise the suffering, I didn't realise the pain, and I didn't realise how badly it affects people. The fatigue and the worry and the concern and the fear of unknown. So, yeah, it's not a nice situation. But I best get dressed and um, go. So I'll catch you in the car. Woo! The sunrise, late nights, wishing that this would be over. Cold eyes, the same vice. So I'm dressed, I'm in the car with my mother. There she is. And we are on our way to Dudley to go and have my drain checked and check that I'm okay. I'm hoping everything's all right. Um, I can't get my arm into my clothes, which is pretty embarrassing. Um, but I'm hoping everything's okay. So we'll see. We shall see. My mum's taking forever to get bloody here, so um, at the car, that is. Uh, so I've just gone on my own. Uh, what are you going to do? I've got to rush. I'm late. That's it. So my drain is coming out. Yes. I always seem to be in the same room as well. We've just seen how skinny I am. Ew. Not nice. Not nice. Time to bulk up. What do you think about my drain coming out? I think that's a good step towards uh, recovery. Good. So I think that's a good idea. Okay. Uh, just hope we don't have to pay too many more visits up here. We have to do what we have to do. Yeah, so, exactly. Uh, anyway, yeah, good things. Good things. All good things. All good things. <laughs> Okay, so it's 10 in the morning, uh, just coming out of the hospital. They've taken my drain out, which is awesome. I also have a bag in, but I now need to get some breakfast. Just had breakfast, and now I'm going back uh, on the long journey back to Western Supermare, and I'm gonna get my hair cut and shave and look a bit smarter, because I need to, because I've got interviews to do and stuff. Damn it, annoying. Ashes to ashes, falling alone, leaving to its own demise. Just got back to my mum's and uh, I've got to pick some stuff up and then I am going to go sort the drone situation out and uh, get my hair cut, yeah. Right, so I've had my hair cut, I'm feeling fresh, I'm feeling good, I've had my drain out. I need to now have a shower which is gonna be fun. I haven't had one for ages. I stink. I like really reek, really bad. So I'm gonna have a shower and then I'm gonna get changed and then I'm gonna go out again and film some more. It's like two o'clock in the afternoon. Boosh, 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 boosh. <sighs> Can't believe it, I'm having a shower. Things are about to get steamy in here. Oh yeah. Mm, oh. Shower, shower. Ooh, shower, shower. Missed the shower. I'm just it. Steamy shower. Right, so, I've had my drain out and I've got this thing stuck to me now. Uh, there's my scar, it's healing beautifully. There's my other scar somewhere there, it's healing beautifully. I've managed to keep a decent physique. Can you believe it? Stop your devil! I think we, we should, let's go see my dad and then we'll explain some more about the cancer stuff because that's what Monday's all about. But douche, but douche, you fool. 
Ashes to ashes, falling alone, leaving to in stone demise. Ashes to ashes, where do we go? Yeah, where do we go? I found him. There he is. There's my dad. You're working hard here. You're not working hard, you're leaning on a post. You I'm pleb. responsible for the upkeep of this building. You're responsible for the upkeep yeah, of this I'm building? Yeah, I'm holding it up now. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Yeah. God. I need to talk about rubbish that I don't want to talk about. But, okay, cool, fine, bye. bye. <laughs> anyway, right. My cancer, what is it? What does it do? How does it affect me? What's the prognosis? Where are we going from here? And what's the research all about? Well, let's explain that very quickly. I have a sarcomatoid carcinoma, a pleomorphic sarcomatoid carcinoma. I also have like a kind of variant of a primary cutaneous carcinosarcoma and uh, unknown sarcomas at the point that we are at now. So I've had stuff cut out of me two and a half weeks ago, uh, quite a vast amount of stuff cut out of me, all cancerous material in my body, lymph nodes, my side, my back, my spine and stuff. So it, it kind of has all come out of me um, that we know of. So hopefully we've got a good margin on that. I've been told today by the nurses that I've got to expect to have more surgery in the next couple of weeks to months. Um, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that because that is the point. We're trying to treat this. We're trying to overcome what could be the end of my life. So I don't want it to be the end of my life. I know it's incurable at the moment. No one in the world knows what to do. We've spoken to people in California. Uh, we've spoken to people in Canada. We've spoken to people in Germany. We've spoken to people in London. Uh, all top people in the world uh, about this type of thing. We've spoken to some of the bigger um, hospitals in America as well to try and find out information. No one has any idea what to do. So the first thing that we have found out to do uh, from everyone, a mass general consensus whilst doing this research is that I need DNA sequencing so as they can try and find some kind of targeted treatment. Um, and that will lead to either chemo or radiotherapy. I think it will end up being chemo that I have. And the chemo that I have will be just tailored specifically to me to try and kill this like cancer in my body because we know it's going to spread around me and it's going to make me very sick again. And if you look at me a couple of weeks ago as opposed to now, the, the difference is vast. It's very vast. And like the cancer when it's in me made me like fatigued, sick, nauseous, worried, concerned uh, and fearful for my life because I knew I'd only have, and I didn't promote this, I knew I'd only have a couple of weeks, maybe to a couple of months from that point, um, because it was spreading so rapidly. Now we've given ourselves some headway by doing this like surgery, basically, to give me a better chance of finding systemic treatment. And that by no means means that it's gone in my body, because we know for a fact that it's in certain places that are hard to get to. When you do surgery, you miss things. It's possible that you miss stuff. And these things happen and there's nothing you can do about it, but you've got to hope for the best. You've got to hope for the best and you've got to push for the best and really push for the best. And if you can't find the best, you've got to bloody make it. You've got to, you've got to find it for yourself. You've got to be your own advocate and you've got to I'm clapping and I don't know why I'm clapping, but you've got to basically find the answers yourself sometimes. And that's what I'm doing. And that's the point of the research. And that is the point of my vlog. And that's it. See you later. Ta ta. Bye bye. That's having fun planning around with a mini drone. Lovely. This as is you. you. Do. Yeah. Great. Or alternatively, okay. as you don't. I'm supposed to be telling people about my cancer, so that's Are what you? I'm going to do. Yeah, it's crap, but isn't we've it? have got a drone. I know, I've got a drone, but. But, but we've got a drone, Dan. <laughs> we've got a drone. Yeah. Should we review the drone tomorrow? Uh, yeah, why not? Let's yeah. do the drone review tomorrow so okay. I can play with it tonight. Okay, you're going to play with that? Because if it survives that, it'll survive anybody. <laughs> so that'll be cool. <laughs> so, yeah, basically, oh, I've just zoomed. So, yeah, someone sent me randomly a little tiny Tello drone, so I'm going to have to try it out tomorrow, as you do. You know, 
as you do.